Right then, this is a walk around video, and this is for a glorious car. This is a Lexus CT200, and it's the F Sport model. First of the uh, facelift models with this lovely new front end on the car. It looks absolutely fantastic. This car's covered just 36,000 miles from new, and has a absolutely full Lexus service history, uh, I think comprising seven services, and it's in beautiful condition. Finished in black with black leather, basically the best combination you can get on this car and it's in lovely condition as you'd expect um, front of the car really clean lights lenses no cracks or condensation there at all coming down the near side of the vehicle lovely and smooth in the panel work uh, panels are really crisp um, and gleam to them near side front alloy the one that generally takes all of the bashing hardly shows a mark on it but i think there's a tiniest yeah bit of curving at the bottom there at the top where it's parked this side rear alloy again absolutely perfect okay, the back again you get some new style rear end on the car different bumper design inserts looks absolutely fantastic and offside driver side again Beautifully smooth in the panels. Offside rear alloy, again, completely unmarked there. The main panel looks absolutely beautiful. Likewise, a final alloy. Worth pointing out, a really good, very recent set of Yokohama tyres all around on the vehicle as well, so wonderful sign of ownership. Coming to the back of the car now, uh, beautifully finished boot area is it expect of Lexus and all in fantastic condition as well. Coming to the back of the car, this is a full black leather interior. It's been kept absolutely beautifully. Yeah, I apologize for my slightly shaky hand. It's quite early and quite cold. It's so coming to the front and the passenger side. Again, all wonderfully clean. And the passenger seat that shows actually no sign that's just a bit of wet well just put in and out of the car so that's where my hand's been so there isn't a mark there finally coming on the driver's side door card again in beautiful condition footwear is lovely and clean a full set of original uh, lexus mats fitted to the car as well by the way so inside the car now as always dashboard illuminated so Oh, the engine running dashboard is illuminated for you. You can see there, sat nav working exactly as it should. Pop the car into reverse. Get that lovely clear gridded parking camera again, all working exactly as intended. But it is a sensational interior. I mentioned this more in the following road test video, but um, I still rate this as you know, perhaps the best dash design in its class. I do rate it as the best dash, dash design in its class. Not only beautiful to look at, but um, beautifully built as well and you've got that fantastic dash design directly in front when you're in econ and uh, normal mode that's the dash you get if i twist it into sport mode so you get that red hue and the rev counter there as well it just looks absolutely fantastic and it is in stunning condition in here finally just to show you owner's manual pack and lock and wheel nut key are both here and present with the car Right then, this is a quick road test video, and this is for a Lexus CT200, and it's the F Sport model. This particular car is registered BN64YXY, and mileage currently showing is just 36,897 miles. The reason for doing these videos is very simple, and especially this road test section, is to ensure, as always, that if anyone's online looking at any of our cars advertised, they actually get to see the car in operation um, for the reason that we all have suffered no doubt which is where you go to see a car which can look perfectly good only to get there and find out it's got a fundamental issue which you would much rather know about before setting off this particular car has been beautifully looked after um, obviously very low mileage but it's had i think seven services all done by the lexus main dealers so clearly a very very well looked after vehicle indeed and it feels it straight away. It, it is as tight as a drum in every single way. Um, 
first and foremost coming to the engine and power unit hybrid system press a button it whirs silently into life um, if you haven't don't know anything about the, the Lexus hybrids um, there's nothing to fear I mean, they're incredibly tough and reliable but also they um, they are what's referred to as self-charging so basically you just run the car like a normal petrol car fill up the fuel run out of fuel fill up the fuel run out of fuel it's as simple as that you don't run out of battery the car looks after itself every time you hit the brake pedal back off it regenerates power into its battery system it's there to give you extra oomph um, so it's not completely reliant on it and it is genius in the way it operates it's so smooth in transition between engine and hybrid system it's uh, uncanny it really is and i've owned so many of these and I absolutely love them um, it gives you three modes you've got a little dial down here currently it defaults into normal mode twist to the left i'm in eco mode so immediately feel the throttle response is far duller and not as quick to pick up and go press it down to normal mode and it's picking up more uh, quickly and then twist it to the right and what was a blue dashboard with an economy to suddenly has a lovely red hue to it with the rev counter and you just completely feel the difference in the feel of the car the pick up the throttle response is instant um, it's the mode i tend to drive in most of the time because what you lose in economy is negligible compared to what you get in terms of driver enjoyment um, and it's it's brilliant it really is it's um it works beautifully where they really stand out to me if you do a lot of kind of town driving particularly they are so so smooth uh, because in conjunction with the engine you've got the cvt gearbox um so you've got none of kind of the um kind of clunkiness and clumsiness of its competitors that use conventional engines and gearboxes this feels like an electric car at low speed it's just completely seamless it's just so so smooth um, and I've always loved them for those kind of low speed maneuvers especially when using this stubby little gear lever here it's fantastic it just all makes it feel just so ahead of its time it really really is it's brilliantly done um, all working perfectly there are no warning lights on the dashboard at all uh, relating to the engine or any other part of the car um, the gearbox as I said CVT gearbox suits the car perfectly and don't yeah I mean I, I, I say don't it's frustrating when you hear car magazine testers what they tend to do is get in cars and shove their foot down hard because with the CVT do that revs pick up so it'll sound sort of you know noisy for a second then the car kind of catches up with it that probably happens about once a day if you're if you're unlucky sort of joining a motorway on a slip road you put your foot down hard to accelerate away 99 percent of the time it is so much smoother and so much quieter than a conventional engine gearbox it's ludicrous that they pick up on that one part of the gearbox and the way it's meant to be by the way because in terms of efficiency it's light years ahead of any conventional box they are simply superb um, steering on the car it's got a really lovely front end on this car but what I mean by what I mean by that is it's keen it's it wants to change direction nice and quickly um, if it's perfect setup it's got lovely weighting to it it's very accurate and precise um, it also tracks absolutely bullet straight by the way without any vibrations at this speed or any speed up to the legal limit um, and likewise the chassis again is very keen it's it rides very well it's not over firm um, but it's firm enough that you know when you go through corners it doesn't kind of lurch in there's no kind of wallowing um, it's actually a really good fun car to drive if you're kind of in the mood to do it um, you know I, I openly admit I didn't about two or three years ago I hadn't had a CT200 I can't believe we've missed them all these years um, then tried a few and just fell in love with it some of these country lanes around here are just made for this car because it's quite feels small and nimble is the best way to describe it it also exhibits absolutely no noises from the suspension at all no rattles or clonks nothing uh, it feels as I said ridiculously tight um, brakes on the car which will hold on to things good, good shove good brake pedal on the car nice and powerful um, one of them looking for in particular is any kind of pulsing or vibrations and there's none at all it's absolutely spot on in that sense it's a 
finally coming inside, um, you know, I openly admit designs a, a you know what they look like is very much opinion based rather than fact. The fact is everything works perfectly. Sat and have air conditioning, heated seats, all the buttons work exactly as they should. Um, you know, my opinion is though that it's probably one of the best interior designs in this class of car anywhere because it makes you feel that really hard thing to achieve really special when you sit in the car you sit in the car you kind of feel wrapped around by the dash and that's cliched but it's really true they've achieved it perfectly in the car the detailing of the switch gear the labeling it all makes you feel like you're in something that is very much a premium model when you press a button it has that wonderful quality of actuation the Japanese do so beautifully but you've got this little sort of stitching down on the leather sides here but it's not tacky it's just they've just got it absolutely right and the whole dash makes you feel you're, you're in you're operating a car but not just a car a, a, a machine um, very hard to describe but it, it really does make you feel like that and beautifully beautifully built as you'd expect of any Lexus it is sensational in terms of build quality in here um, you know the dash as I said you know when you change the different engine modes you've got um, different detailing and um, coloring on the dash which I think is a lovely touch um, and then the dash itself is just really interesting to look at bizarrely enough uh, steering wheel lovely sort of thick rimmed leather bound um, sporty steering wheel feels perfect in hand and it's in just lovely condition in here you know, hardly shows anywhere at all um, you know it's it's a It'd be a wonderful car for someone and as I said at the start the point of the video brief as it might be is just to show the car operator but to feedback on any issues of which is nothing at all um, it you know I know it's a cliche but it literally drives like new I just can't fault it